So something that just like really like frustrates me and that I find reprehensible is like when like women or heterosexual men or Christians like harass gay people for being gay or like think that like gay people owe them something. I, like there's a song by R. Kelly called Forever and Dead and it's about how he's like supposed to be forever indebted to his mom just because she she gave birth to him. And it's like if you think about that though, if you actually believe the nonsense in the Bible, then your mom only exists because of the rib of Adam that was stolen from us. So we don't owe our moms anything. Nobody owes their mom anything just because they were born. And it's just so stupid that someone would even say something like that. It's like, women only exist if from that, I don't believe in the Bible, I don't believe in Adam and Eve, but if you actually were to think about that, women only exist because they were made from Adam's rib, if you believe that. So nobody owes women anything. Nobody owes women anything at all by that logic. And so I think some of that is just coming from like um, me being kind of deprived of freedom of speech. And, you know, I it, it, it's really kind of just like in the Midwest, like people's freedom of speech and like really just liberalism in the Midwest is repressed. And so that's really just why, again, I would never have chosen to live in the Midwest. I was dragged here by my family. Um, and I never chose to go to therapy, like, despite what anyone tells you, that's not true. Like, I was coerced and forced into doing that with a false diagnosis. Um, but anyways, so, yeah, that's just some frustration with just medical malpractice and just overall incompetence. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, levity, just keep smiling, people, and we're going to get through this. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Love you.